Well, hello. Welcome to my crib. So hi guys, welcome to my new solo apartment tour. I'm so excited to do this video. Some people were asking me like, why did you move out and stuff? First of all, because I wanted to. Second of all, from where my family house was to get to Naked Soul office, sometimes it would take me like door to door, like 45 minutes on a good day, sometimes an hour. So I wanted to move a little bit closer. And now to get to the office, it takes me like 20 to 25 minutes by bus door to door. So that's great. So it's now been just over a week since I've moved in and I feel like I've settled and I pretty much have everything that I need for the house right now. I don't want to like clutter it up at all. I might be getting like one more plant because I want to have some like greenery, some life. But um, for right now, I'm like pretty happy with how it is. So to find this apartment, this is an office tell and it has a loft space. So I have a living room area and like the bedroom area, which is upstairs separated, which I will be showing you in a second. I'm not going to be saying exactly where I live because I don't want, you know, but I live in the Chunggu district, which is like very center of Seoul. It's on the north of the river and I have some footage of me like viewing this place from when I first moved in which I will try to insert along. Guys I just viewed like the massive love the power. I am in love. I am gonna take it like that was like a girl that's meant to be coming in like 10 minutes after me and like and I was like I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take it right now so <laughs> yeah I got here first <laughs> sorry girl I was actually meant to come at 2 30 but I was like I had a hunch and I was like what if somebody gets it before me so I was like I want to come at 1 30 so <laughs> I am so excited. She's gonna live very close to this place. When I was looking at places to live on those apps and stuff, I did consider this like detached house in like Itaewon near like Gyeonggi Dangye. I almost signed that place because it had like a roof and it had like the best views of Namsan Tower, everything, and it was like close to Namsan itself. And for me, I really liked being in nature, and so I literally almost signed that place. But due to a whole number of reasons, I didn't end up getting that place, and I came here. So let's talk about the price of this apartment. I am doing Warse, which is like just normal rent, as you guys know in the rest of the world. Korea has this one other system called Chonse, where you put down a lot of money up front, and then your monthly rent is like really not a lot but I'm paying just like normal rent but in still Korea like the deposit is a lot more than what you would put down like for example in London it's only like one month's rent up front whereas in Korea I am currently putting down 10 million won deposit which is roughly what the exchange rate right now is 7,325 US dollars and then my monthly rent is Kushin Manan which is roughly $660 US and plus I have like extra utilities like electricity, internet, la la la. So I would say roughly it goes to around Peng Manan a month which is around $732. Before I moved in the owner of this place she had like redone everything like completely new and basically all the furniture was here which is great for me so I literally only had to just move in my clothes and my stuff but I didn't have to like buy any furniture. I did buy some things but like mostly everything was here which is amazing so let me show you around okay so first thing I want to say because this is different to the UK for example I don't have to deal with having to carry keys anymore because in most legal houses in Korea have like a door lock system so obviously I'm not going to show you my code so the fact that I don't have to carry around keys anymore is amazing okay and first of all my owner has put up like these yeah I think you can get these like in Ikea but these like stick on mirrors um, obviously that was there when I first moved in that's very nice but that was like the only full-length mirror in this place so over there I bought that one but more of that in a second so first thing when you enter you have the like what do you call this you have this area obviously all Asian households you don't wear shoes in the house so this is the shoe closet I'm not gonna go through all my shoes. Uh, I bought a vacuum cleaner. I love that vacuum cleaner. Um, this is not even all my shoes. I have way more back at the house, but I didn't bring everything. So very, what's in here? Did I put anything? Just umbrella and stuff, random knickknacks. Yeah, so very nice. And then we have this kitchen area. I have a washing machine and just storage space, my sink. Oh, this I put in myself, so. This gives out clean, filtered water. That's the filter. You can drink 
water from here. Oh, this is quite cute. We were meant to sell this on Naked Soul. <laughs> we never did though. It's a coffee pot, like for espresso and stuff, but it has like a Korean character on it. I think that's cute. I haven't used it yet, but I basically stole it from the office. <laughs> oh my god, this coffee is so freaking good. Like Momo's coffee from Busan. The rose master of this coffee shop in Busan like won like number one in co some coffee <laughs> competition or something. And now I tasted this coffee, I can't go back to anything else. So I'm screwed. Um, this <laughs> some alcohol left over from the ramen and chill party the other day. Need to get rid of that. And then hi, this is my bathroom. <laughs> Sliding doors. This was all completely redone when I moved in. So it's very new, very nice. Um, so the shower is in here. It's kind of, I guess, like a wet room, but like because it's separated and there's like the drain that goes there. Everything's super clean and nice. I have a mirror here and then I put towels and stuff in here and other just makeup stuff in there and my various things. Juwon got me this diffuser the other day when she came over. Bonajo, we sell this on Naked so I love this cream. Buy this cream. <laughs> and I have some scales there. David bought me another box of this as well when he came over the other day. So thank you, David. Hello. Oh, you're so I need it. <laughs> thank you. Very Korean. That's a typical Korean tradition. When you go to someone's house for the first time, you bring them toilet paper as <laughs> a thing so that's my bathroom and then you control the heating with this we have on the floor heating which is very nice i have everything switched off right now because it's not even that cold i feel like today okay and then let me show you the rest of the house so high ceilings which is amazing high ceilings living room space i spent most of my time here everything was already here the furniture wise when i moved in the only thing i bought was this rug which i like very much i wanted to get some interesting kind of pattern rug not just like plain cream or something but when everyone came over the other day they spilled some wine red wine look at anna scrubbing her rug <laughs> the wine stain <sighs> red wine splotches <laughs> Yeah, what can I do? So this is the vibe at night. That IKEA lamp is from my house, actually. That lamp over there is was here, but the light is so white. I don't really use this, and so strong. Ah! You see how white that light is? Mine is really warm, and so that looks just so... It doesn't match, so I barely use that one unless I have to. So this space right here is like, after you come in from the kitchen, this is what you see. So basically everything was here already. All this table, these cabinets, everything was here. All the decorations were here already too. I just want to thank my owner for just keeping everything like neutral. And it's mostly like white and cream and light brown colors. I hate it when, when you go to view houses and they have dark wood absolutely everywhere because uh, it just makes the space look more small. So if you're working with that kind of space, I always try to get like light colored carpets, rugs. And so thank God that she has good taste. And then we have built in storage space here. This is not even <laughs> all my stuff, but I did buy these storage boxes, which are actually so good. And this like t-shirt organizer, which is, I love. I have space there. And then another, another wardrobe here with all my stuff. It's not the neatest, but <laughs> it will do. Okay, and then next bit here. In this drawer, I just have random stuff here. I have my electronics <laughs> and just random, random stuff. And I love it when you can put storage stuff on the furniture. My laundry hanger thing underneath the couch. I obviously have stuff like this because a YouTuber lights here too. Microphone, tripods, I'm getting new tripods, more lights all the electronic stuff this is my violin and there my 
touch it, Jima. No. 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 I can't even touch it. No. Wow, it looks super expensive. <laughs> 진짜 갑자기 달라 보이는. <laughs> Hi, I'm so sorry I haven't played you in so long. This is not mine. This was already here. It doesn't work. Um, my thingy play button and oh my Erna, how cute is she? She gave me this cactus plant for when I moved in and it says congratulations. Hope you only have like happy days, happy things. So my perfumes, we have this TV and obviously but um, I barely use them here actually, I just go to the gym. And um, this table, it has storage, like I put like, my masks in there. This part opens up like this. So you can work here, eat here. I put storage stuff in there. I just put extra like spare duvets, big towels, stuff like that. So that opens up and then I can close it back down. Very good, we love multifunctional things. And that fabric poster, by the way, <laughs> that is our BTS fabric poster. You can buy this on Naked Soul. I love that poster. I will link everything down below. I wanted to get some fun cushion. I didn't want to have like a boring colored cushion, so. It has oranges. Isn't it pretty? And then I got this blanket. It's very soft, super soft. <laughs> Obviously, the reason why I fell in love with this place is because the high seal, oh, those, those are the lights the high ceilings and the big windows. I will insert daylight footage because that's when it looks the nicest. And then I knew when I moved in that that mirror over there by the door was not gonna cut it so I had to buy a full length and it's so pretty and so this is where I take all my <laughs> outfit selfies do you like my socks? <laughs> yeah so a mirror is essential and like I said mirrors just open up the space gives the illusion that the room is bigger than it is um, so that's a tip before we go upstairs so this is from the kitchen underneath the stairs there's like this storage space this like it's like a mini table I should like put this foldable chair but obviously I'm not gonna like sit there so I just put my suitcases there there's an air fryer there it's not mine I haven't used it <laughs> all these like um, paintings as well she did them they were already here so all of these too thank god everything is just still like like black accents she has good like just minimal taste I think the loft space let's go up these stairs they're very strong And then you have this view. This is my bedroom. I haven't really decorated here at all. So this was all her doing. And to be honest, I spent most of my time down there. Ah, ah, I banged my head. Oh, this is the trouble with that loft apartment. I mostly spend most of my time down there, working down there. And I literally only come here to sleep. And like I do my makeup. Here, I sit there and I do my makeup. So, so to show you what's here, obviously I have cords. So this light turns on and off. And also I have this lamp, which I don't really use. Oh, that makes it look kind of nice though, but I'll use the proper light for now. Everything was already here. Literally, I only had to move my stuff and that's it. These cute little, I don't know what they are. They were here already. Um, Guys, this is not an ad, but like I am in love with this hair oil. It smells so good. It smells like expensive wood. It's so good. I have my hair color, hair dryer, more makeup stuff. There's a bin. There's a fan because I hear loft apartments, all the heat rises to the top, so it gets really hot. I haven't experienced a summer in here yet, so let's see. And more just like random storage stuff. That's like an iPad holder. I don't really use it though. And then this is the bed. Guys, you'd have no idea how soft. I wish you could like touch it yourself, but like this is super soft. I fall asleep so quickly actually. And then that's my view of my bedroom basically. But like just to give you an idea of how low the ceiling is, this is how 
You cannot do anything. Like, this place is only for sleeping. So basically, that was my apartment. For this kind of room at this price, I feel like I've really, really lucked out. And oh my god, one thing that really excited me when I moved to this area. There's a freaking jujitsu gym right next door. And jujitsu is something that I've been wanting to learn for ages. So I'm going to go and sign myself up very soon. After I come back from New York, I'm going to New York in like a few days. But yeah, you guys, what do you think of my apartment? I'm very happy with it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave me any questions down in the comments below. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one.